Well, Lena Mani is a developer, an explorer of a very large golf system in the northern end of the West Australian golf fields, which is the largest golf field in the world, the Norseman Kalgoorlie Wooloona Golf Belt. We're in the process of taking our modest production in the next 12 months to 120,000 ounces and then finishing a feasibility study to take that through to about 250,000 ounces over the next three years. Wooloona has got a very large gold endowment. It's one of the largest gold endowments of any listed company in Australia. At the moment it's around 11.5 million ounces of historic, which is about four, and also we have a resource of seven million ounces, depending on the cutoff grade. There's been 124 years of mining. Back in the 1930s, Wooloona was the biggest gold mine in the British Empire. As a legacy of previous works, we've got significant infrastructure. There's a landing strip there, there's a camp, 400 people camp. There's a mills, plants, power, permitting, but as well as that, we've got over three million metres of drilling, a lot of which we're still going through historic core, which has never been analysed. And there's also 100 kilometres of underground development. We've got five historic declines there, which we're taking advantage of. So there's so much infrastructure there that we've been able to use, thanks to a lot of the people in the past. If someone was to start where we are now, it would probably take them 10 years and over a billion dollars to get to where we are right now. In the last year in particular, we've done a lot of improvement on the balance sheet. We've uh, improved the working capital position of the company by $50 million. And we've managed to achieve that while also ploughing $100 million into the assets of the company as well. So significant expenditure there, plant and equipment, mine development, resource development as well. So being able to make that improvement while also significantly investing in the business has been a terrific outcome. We've consistently published over the last two years exceptional drilling results as we've been systematically drilling out the ore body. We've stabilised the operation, we've repaired the balance sheet, we've done 100,000 metres of drilling to fully define the direction for the ore body and then we are about to start publishing new resources, feasibility study. We've actually put some new longer dated debt in place and reset the direction for the company. And right now we're focusing on finishing the construction of this concentrator and building the mine up so you can produce that 120,000 ounces under the single location. Well, Luna's building a concentrator plant to replace the old one that is sitting in the process plant as it stands today. We clearly understand how important the refractory gold is to the future of the company. So we need to build a concentrator to produce product for export. The other part to the strategy for Walloona Mining is the re-treatment of historically stored tailings where we can use modern techniques to increase the recovery of the gold that's contained. We have a very good operating team here. We have a good range of expertise. We've got quite a few very well seasoned operators and technical staff on site. And we have the young energetic career path orientated personnel coming through as well to supplement that team. For me, the most exciting thing about the future is the partnership between Maluna Mining and the Matu people, the local traditional owners. We are absolutely passionate about ensuring that the environmental processes out there are done at a standard ethically that the community expects today. The potential for the whole of the community to benefit from this project. If Waluna Mining wins, all stakeholders win. The most exciting part for me is to create an environment that has interesting work for our employees, gives superior returns to our stakeholders, but most importantly is able to provide for a really long life operation that's significant in WA Gold. Over the next three to five years as we systematically drill out the deposit and really reveal the scale of Waluna, I'm sure that we're going to show that Waluna is going to be a long life large scale gold mining operation. Another 120 years of mining. Waluna's future is all about taking a sleeping giant and showing its immediate cash flow potential in a time frame that's probably quicker than any other developer, which will then hopefully let the, the company continue to drill and explore and then develop one of the larger undeveloped gold systems in Australia.